All right, so Ikatana, no, not Ikatana, no, Akata Blue uh, in Windows Subsystem for Linux, or no, Windows Subsystem for Android with the Steam Controller, all right? So it's on my PC in the back. We got, you know, we got Mr. Beast right there because we love that dude, right? And uh, yeah, CRT monitor. So we can get 60 hertz because I don't have a monitor like I can flip that's 60 hertz. Uh, the only one I have is 144 hertz. And it was really buggy in Akata Blue and yeah, I don't know, it was just weird. Um, I, I couldn't figure it out. If any you know how to get it working smoothly on it, let me know, but yeah. This is uh, it, it's kind of like the arcade experience at home. Oh yeah, uh, the start, I, yeah. So like the cursor doesn't really work on these when you have them full screen. But luckily the start key on the Steam controller is set up in desktop mode to work as some sort of start key. I don't know. I put bomb to uh, you. Yeah, it's starting to slow down while watching Mr. Beast in the other window here. Hold up. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh yeah, I don't have to get up. Same controller. Boom. All right. So yeah, it's not perfect in WSA, but it's pretty good. Uh, I do notice you can't have anything, I can't have anything running with on my PC, otherwise this game slows down. Uh, when normally it's not an issue with WSA for me on this hardware, which I'll put in the description. It's, you know, it's not the newest hardware, but for its time it was really good. Maybe my RAM wasn't the fastest, but uh, I think I did a pretty good job. I put together this, this PC, like, the specs for it while I was taking a dump on the toilet. I have it so, uh, oh, a little tricky to play with the Steam Controller, because I have to grab with the trigger to move my guy here. Is this working? Is my bomb key? Oh, yeah, wait. That's why. So, I do need to get out of here. Hold on, let's... Yeah, this is really off. Android setup. Copy your data. Yeah, I know. Don't tell me that. Alright, so, uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna watch uh, something live here. Gonna get up. Let's go here. And then I hit F11. So, because I copied my save file over from my phone, it glitch, it messes with the bomb settings, and you have to change it back. So I have it on multi-tap because that lets, like, you can double tap anywhere, and it um whatever does your bomb. I haven't beat stage five yet. So you won't see me get too far in here, especially not with the Steam Controller. Oh! Yeah, this game is really good. Like, a lot of the tricks is use your bomb. Yeah, so I, uh, normally, you know, you double tap, it clears, when you're at level 2, it'll clear out the roll of bullets in front of you or whatever hell you got there. And, uh... When you're in level one, it's like a shock wave. It doesn't, I don't know, I, I don't use that much. I mostly use do that, it's mad fun. Yeah, so I'm holding the trigger down to move my, uh, kind of like I'm grabbing them. And then I move with the touchpad on the seat controller. And yeah, it's pretty good. And then I go, boom. Oh. And I got auto bomb on. I highly recommend this game. It's really good. Blue Stacks is a little better, but I don't, you know, I like WSA because I can quickly load it up. ADB and I like the the GUI how they're basically it's integrated in the Windows how they're you know it's, it's nice instead of having it be its own separate app 
Um, I don't like dealing with the Android launcher in Windows. I'd, I, I like, you know, it's okay on my phone, but I don't like it on, on Windows. I've now been using Android more with like, uh, um, on, well, just because on my computer using uh, SCRCPY2. Uh, no. Um, SCR, uh, I'll put it in the description, but it lets you remote your phone into your phone, remote desktop basically for your phone. Um, you, so you can use it on your computer. I'm describing it really terribly, but yeah, it's, it's awesome. Let's play as, I like playing as blue because, uh, and I, I made my geometry correct. I don't know, it's pretty good. It took me a little bit to, to work it out. It's a little tricky, and WSA is fickle. It looks really good. Um, on this kind of CRT monitor, you get like a curve effect that I don't you know I don't know if you see in the camera, but after, I've been playing on the phone for like weeks now, so it's very it's 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 cool. It's like seeing um it's like the EXA version. And I've uh, I did try hacking this version, well, replacing some of the music in it. Uh, I gotta find the ADX key, which is like the, all the music is encoded in, um, into like uh, well into ADX format, and that has and or and then that's whatever. And I don't know it was a while ago. Uh, Yeah, that that was all. That was honestly that was very confusing. That whole thing, but the it, the basis of it is like that. The music files are like encrypted with a key, and since this game is Unity, you can easily uh, take it apart using the Asset Ripper by um, DSM. Um, I forgot the numbers at the end, but I'll put it in the you know, description of DMS. But uh, I'm guessing the key somewhere in there, and if you can decompile the scripts correctly, you can grab the key and that's what I'm going to try to do. I want to put um, SDOJ music or something in this game. I tried. I put. I successfully replaced the uh, the voice clips. I was able to re-encode them and build the APK um, and then install and play it. But they And I, I put circle in the sand and I had that play through the first stage. Uh, but it cuts off eventually because you know it only goes when the characters speak. But it goes for like a good 40 seconds longer than each dialogue so I mean it's split up too there's like 30 probably clips per level you could replace and each one's you know 10 seconds 13 7 15 28 you can replace these all with your own and probably build like your own soundtrack you could put the electric underground uh, review um, of this game in there I thought about doing that but I don't want to spend that much time doing um, to where you know where you're going along, and as he's reviewing it, each level, you know, he's talking about it. You could do that pretty. If you if you if you were good with audio, I, you could probably do that in like a good four hours. Um, I get no satisfaction from that. I just want to change the music and possibly the the ship and stuff, but. Um, yeah, there are a lot of these are three D models. I I have taken apart and opened it up in Unity and I've looked at it. I'm so entranced. I don't even know if I beat the last level or not. I I just so good. Such a good shmup. It's simple. And it's, it's fun dodging, but it's using the bomb that brings it to the next level. That's what makes this game fun. Otherwise, it would be, you know, it'd be, it'd be cool. They'd have cool bullets, but otherwise it'd be a little forgettable. Well, no, maybe not forgettable, but uh, it wouldn't be as addicting to play. Boom. That's why I don't mind playing it in WSA versus Bluestacks. Bluestacks, it runs better. I can have windows open. With this, it has to be my like only app, and it's the only way I can run Ikatana or uh, Ikata Blue. And even stuff like that lags. I'm running at the lowest settings. Uh, it's still fun. I don't mind. It 
2 I'm going to be running out of room here soon and this is on my monitor uh, in the video like opening CRT monitor or whatever while uh, you know, it has like tails on the thumbnail so it's pretty good this this is when I picked up for you know for free and it was it was nice uh, well it didn't work at first I had issues but it, it looks really good it gets so weird at some resolutions with the geometry but I got it looking really good maybe the tubes a little tired but I don't you know I had to turn the brightness up you know a little bit but it's not bad I love it for uh, it's definitely gonna be dedicated to this game as I, I love this so much now it's like an arcade cabinet and I like playing with the steam controller it's sick thanks Microsoft not really I mean I don't know how that works but uh, check out if you're interested in WSA and WSL check out Scott Hanselman's channel on YouTube I probably um you know he's he, he's a he has a lot of subscribes and whatever a lot of a lot of donos but still check him out it's very worthwhile I like the the type of content and some of you know all of it I like but a, a lot I think it's gen, generally good yeah, there's some weirdness I don't know why but I love this stage how you pass over those guys and you end up meeting I don't want to spoil it but you end up meeting uh, let's just say something that will wreck you kept wrecking me for so for many days All right, I'm running out of time here, so peace out. Uh, stay, uh, stay hydrated.